All I wanted was to see a movie. One down, please. I can't sell downstairs tickets to you people. How dare they? How dare they? Exactly what she would say. How my dare own Her sister's story in a Heritage Minute. Many call Viola Desmond a quiet revolutionary. But to Wanda Robson, the youngest in a family of 11, Vi will always be big sis. Viola looked out for me and my brother Jackie. We lived on the corner of Gosherton and Gary Street. Two, two flats, so we moved up. We were, the family had dwindled down to just I and my brother by that time. Viola and her, she was married, they took, they took the first flat and they had the, they had no living room. That, that was the beauty parlor and the kitchen and that, that's, where, that's how she started. The people were coming, you could hear them coming and going all the time. Owning her beauty salon did not come easily. Viola was denied formal training in Halifax because of the color of her skin. So she trained in Montreal, New York, even Atlantic City, and learned from the likes of Madame C.J. Walker, the first black female millionaire. Back in Canada, Viola opened up her salon, set up a school to develop other black beauticians, and created her own beauty products. She spent hours, sometimes days, traveling across the Maritimes, delivering them to clients. Viola was on one of her product runs November 8th 1946, when her car broke down in New Glasgow, she decided to see a movie, and that changed the course of history. I could afford to buy the more expensive ticket. I run my own business. The uh, usher came up and said, Miss, you're, you're sitting in the wrong seat. You can't sit there. She said, Don't, that's the seat. It's, uh, it's more expensive. You, you, so Viola said, well, I'll go and I'll pay the difference. But they refused to take my money. She said, I always sit down when I'm in Halifax. She went down and sat down, and the usher came again and said, I'll have to get the manager. Viola said, get the manager. I'm not doing anything wrong. The uh, manager took one arm and took the other, dragging her up, and she lost a shoe and a purse, and somebody picked and retrieved them. The policeman called a taxi. The manager went to the courts to get an order for her arrest. Not arrest for what? She goes to prison, and one thing I say, she was a jail. I take her to jail. I say, Viola, you know, jail. I mean, what did what what did you do? They said I didn't pay the theater tax, but it was really about color. She made this, I think, was a conscious uh, response of rebellion. I'm not doing this. And I think the impact for me was um, to show how a small act can become something even bigger. Former Lieutenant Governor May Ann Francis was a part of that bigger moment decades later, issuing a pardon to Viola Desmond in April 2010, a request initiated in writing by Viola's younger sister. She knew an injustice was, was, was done to her sister and she fought to make sure that it was undone in her lifetime. So it was um, a very moving uh, experience for me, um, knowing that I was the one, a black woman, was going to be um, given Viola Desmond something that she should have had a long time ago, um, her, her, her freedom. I remember my heart was just beating away, um, and it was, so many people, so many cameras, and I kept thinking, this is for you, Viola. And there she is. As fate would have it, May Ann Francis lives next to the Camp Hill Cemetery in Halifax, where Viola was buried in 1965. Viola I. Davis Desmond, 1914-1965. She made it her mission to have Viola's gravesite officially marked with signs. She's also responsible for this. A portrait of Viola hanging on the government house walls. And this was Wanda Robson's response, seeing it for the first time. Wanda looks at it and, and she goes up closer and she says, hi Vi, you know, yeah. She put her hand up and she said, hi Vi. It was really moving. The pardon, the portrait, the graveside markers, it all leads back to Wanda and her quest for justice. My family had a front row, and this is what we got. 
A framed copy of the pardon hangs at the front of Wanda's home, keeping her sister's memory, her place in history nearby. And if Viola was alive to see it today. She read it and she'd say, Money, money, did you do that? I tell you, with a lot of help, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you, and I love you very much. That's what she'd say. She was something else. I loved her. Asha Tomlinson, CBC News, Sydney, Nova Scotia.